Hello, my name's Casey Fry and I'll be doing the week six quiz numbers four, five, and six. So for number four, we're going to find the integral from four to infinity of two over x to the fourth algebraically and show our work. So we're gonna look at our steps. So number one, um, we're gonna rewrite the improper integral as the limit of the definite integral. So here, we have our definite integral that is given to us, and we're going to rewrite that saying the limit of n, as n approaches infinity of the integral, which is four to n of two over x to the fourth dx. And I'm going to rewrite this just to make it easier for us to compute later. So I just rewrote the limit as n approaches infinity um, of our integral from four to n and I turn that into two times x to the negative fourth dx. So step two is we are going to work on the integral first using the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is finding the antiderivative and evaluating. So for number two, I just rewrote the limit as n approaches infinity and I have our definite integral right here and you are just going to find the antiderivative, which is um, adding one to your power, which is negative four, and that would make that negative three, and then pulling that out front and putting it over one. So negative one third times your two, which equals negative two thirds x to the negative three, and you're going to evaluate that from n to four. So step three, we are going to take the limit so I have our limit as n approaches infinity, and in brackets, first you're going to plug your n in for x of the antiderivative that we just found, so negative two-thirds n to the negative third, and you're going to subtract that by plugging in the four for the x of the antiderivative that we just found. So negative two-thirds times four to the negative third. And then we're just going to simplify that down. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of negative two thirds times one over n to the third. I just rewrote that differently so we could evaluate that easier later. It's the same thing as n to the negative third. And then you are going to subtract that by computing these numbers up here, negative two thirds times four to the negative third, and that equals negative 0 0.0104. And as you can see up here, you have two negatives which make a positive, but the answer is still negative, therefore you are going to subtract that. Um, next step is we're gonna look over here from our notes. If n approaches infinity, which is what our problem is, then one over n to any power is going to equal zero. So going back to over here, we have one over n to the third, which equals zero, and zero times anything, like negative two thirds, is going to be zero. So that will equal zero, and then we're gonna subtract the 0 0.0104 that we computed above. Um, this is going to equal zero minus 0 0.0104, and your answer of the integral from four to infinity of two over x to the fourth dx is negative 0 0.0104. Okay, number five is numerically estimate the integral from 40 to infinity of 5e to the negative 0.04x dx to one decimal place. And show our work. So step one, we are going to rewrite the improper integral as the limit of the definite integral. So first I just started with our integral that was given and I'm going to rewrite it as the limit as n approaches infinity and then have our integral from 40 to n of 5e to the negative 0.04x dx. Number two, we're going to set up a table of our definite integral values with two extra decimal places. So since we needed one, then our chart is going to have three. So I already did the chart for you, but I'm going to show you how you're gonna get it. So you're gonna have your n on one side and your definite integral on the other side and you're going to go onto your calculator into the y equals and type that in. And for n, you can use any variable, I just used x. And from there, you're going to hit second table 
and that's going to give you your table of your values and you're going to record that onto your paper. Um, step three, we're going to look for a repeated pattern three times. So here clearly you can see that 25.237 is repeated three times. Um, step four, we're going to round to the requested number of decimal places, which is one. So 25.237 is going to round to 25.2. And then I just rewrote our integral and said it equaled about 25.2 since we are estimating it numerically. Okay, number six, use algebraic manipulation or integration by substitution as well as limits to evaluate the improper integral. If the integral diverges, answer diverges. So first we are going to look at our integral from two to infinity of x to the point two over x to the third dx. Um, I'm just going to rewrite this to make it easier for us to evaluate later. So by bringing up x to the third and makes, making it x to the negative third, it's the same thing as saying x to the point two times x to the negative third dx. Um, I'm going to use the power rule. When you multiply the same base, you can add the powers. So that is going to equal the integral from two to infinity of x to the negative 2.8 because negative three plus 0 0.2 equals negative 2.8. So from there, we are going to go to step one of algebraically finding improper integrals, which is rewrite the improper integral as the limit of the definite integral. So step one, we have the limit as n approaches infinity of s from two to the n times x to the negative 2.8 dx. Um, step two, work on the integral first using the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is finding the antiderivative and evaluating. So we are going to find the antiderivative of x to the negative 2.8 and evaluate that from two to n. So I have our limit from as n approaches infinity and to find the antiderivative you're going to take your power add it plus one so that's x to the negative 1.8 and then you're going to take that number and bring it out front and put it under the one in the fraction so you have negative one over 1 1.8 times x to the negative 1.8 and then you're going to evaluate that from n to two Step three, you are just going to take the limit. So I have us taking the limit of the antiderivative that we just found and evaluating it from n to two. So first we're gonna take the antiderivative and plug n in for x, and you're gonna subtract that by plugging in two back into your antiderivative and plugging two in for x. So you have the limit as n approaches infinity, of negative 1.1 1 .1 over 1 1.8 and then I just rewrote the n to the negative 1 1.8 as 1 over n to the 1 1.8 so we could evaluate that easier and you're going to subtract that by evaluating what we just wrote right here so that equals negative 0.1595 and watch your signs a negative and then a negative equals a positive. So side note, when you have one over n to a power, as mentioned in the previous problem, since n's approaching infinity, it's always gonna equal zero. So this is going to equal zero times any number is always zero again. So evaluating that just equals zero. And then you're gonna have your plus 0.1595. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of 0 0.1595. And to rewrite that, I just rewrote the definite integral from two to infinity of x to the point two over x to the third dx, which equals 0 0.1595. Also in the instructions, it says if the integral diverges, answer diverges. Our answer does not diverge. However, the way to tell this is because it's an actual decimal. If it diverged, it would equal infinity. So we can tell that by looking at our notes. Um, if n was not over one and it was just to a pow power, it would equal infinity. So that's how we could tell. Um, so therefore this right here would evaluate to infinity. 
or an easier way is you can check your calculator by plugging in the integral to y equals. So go to the y equals screen, you put your two to the x or any variable and type in your integral and go to second table. Um, here clearly we do see a pattern so that does not diverge. If it did diverge, there would be no pattern on the chart and it would increase indefinitely without bound and go to infinity.